child of a military family that moved around all of my youth and there was lots of new places and not lots of new faces and if it weren't for my parents who gave me a, a sense of belonging I don't know what I would have done. In my adult career I've spent um, trying to create place for people whether it's physically in architecture or in their hearts and minds through programs like this. Place matters but people matter too. Zach, I want to thank you for accepting my invitation to come to Richmond. As a parent, this hits close to my heart because I work really hard to create a safe and loving environment for my children, and it breaks my heart when uh, another child doesn't have that same advantage of a home and a secure environment. And I'm thrilled that Zach and his family and all these wonderful people have come out to support them. Years ago, I had the um, opportunity of meeting Mary Harrington, the director or coordinator of the Richmond Regional Homeless Education Program here in the area. And she was lovely back then, and she was the first person I called when we had an opportunity to do this event and raise awareness for children without permanent homes in housing crisis. It is my distinct privilege to, to welcome Mary Harrington. I'd also, now that all of our guests are here, I'd like to take one more moment to welcome um, all of our guests. Um, First Lady Ann Holton, Mayor um, Dwight Jones, Superintendent of Richmond Public Schools, Dr. Yvonne Brandon. We also have Karen Coltrane here from the um, Children's Museum, Adria Graham Scott from the School Board. Pat I hope Bob. I have Pat Bob, Pat Bob. Pat Bob from uh, State Homeless. Um, Education, and I'm sure I forgot somebody, but I'm terribly nervous at this moment, so I'm going to turn it over to my dear friend. Okay. Thank you so very Thank much you. for supporting me. Okay. Thank you. Good morning. I would like to extend greetings from the Richmond Regional Homeless Education Program to our distinguished guests and to Zach and his family, who devoted their time and energy to speak for homeless children and youth nationally and here in Richmond. This is a significant day for raising awareness of the plight of homeless children and families in Virginia. Without a voice, more than 1.5 million of our nation's children go to sleep each night without a home. In Virginia, over 11,000 homeless children were identified last year, and in Richmond, over, 20, over 1,200 in the city of Richmond, and this is a gross underestimation of how many children are homeless. Families are living doubled up with friends and relatives and are living in their cars, their hotels, or motels. Homeless children are invisible to most of us. They're not on the streets with any identical markers because parents go to great lengths to hide their homeless status for multiple reasons. So many of our parents who are homeless have been involved in the foster care system, and 25% of youth aging out of foster care experience homelessness. Finding solutions will take the acknowledgement and the extent of homelessness in our community that affect our children and the support of our community leaders to find solutions and interventions to eradicate the causes that lead children and their families homeless. We're fortunate to have a First Lady who is such a leader and who has been dedicated to improving the welfare of Virginia's children and families. She launched her signature initiative, Four Keeps, in 2007, which focuses on helping Virginia find and strengthen permanent families, particularly for older children who are aging out of foster care and which serves as an intervention to prevent homelessness for these youth. It is my privilege and honor to introduce our next speaker, the First Lady of Virginia, Ms. Ann Halton. Thank you all. I'm so thrilled to be here and to get to welcome Zach uh, Bonner and his family and these young walkers who escorted him here uh, this morning from across the river. We're just so thrilled to have Zach here with us, Zach. It's just a great thing that you're doing and we're we're thrilled to get to be a little tiny part of, of your endeavor. For you all who don't know, Zach Bonner started this uh, endeavor several years ago. He's now 11, no, 11 years old and tells me he started this endeavor when he was six. 
He um, has been uh, helping raise awareness of children's homelessness and children's needs across the nation for that many years. This particular, his summer adventure to this year, summer, he started on May 11th and has been walking to Washington to deliver messages to President Obama on behalf of homeless children across the country ever since. And we're so thrilled that he made Richmond a part of his stop. And I just wanted to say, well, really two things. First, I wanted to recognize how important it is that children can step up to the plate and that, that Zach is showing us how children, children can step up to the plate to help make our world a better world. And I know you all are all probably doing that in so many different ways, but it's a very important thing. And it's, a, it's just great to see somebody who's gotten started on his career so early. I, I, I remember my, my first volunteer activity that I remember anyway was I was about your current age, 10 or 11 years old, and I was living in Roanoke, and uh, we had a little club that we called the Becky Godwin Club after um, then Governor Godwin's daughter, who had died tragically as a teenager. Um, where we used to help out some some neighbors uh, taking care of their disabled children, and um, and but that that's where I was at age 10 when you start or at age 11 when you've been doing this since you were age six. So it's a little humbling to watch somebody who's been making this his life's passion for so long. But it's also a great role model and a great example for all the difference that you and you and you all these young people out here you all can make this kind of difference in all kinds of people's lives by watching out and paying attention and thinking how, how you can help contribute to make your world a better place. So I'm so thrilled to have Zach here to help draw attention to the difference that children can make in our lives. Uh, the, uh, you know, it's a sad but true fact in our country and around the world that ch children are the poorest and the neediest and the least well cared for segment of our society. Isn't that a terrible, terrible fact? It's just a, a shame that in a wealthy, strong country like ours, even in these, these tough times, that that fact is true. I'm proud uh, of how well Virginia cares for our young people. We uh, were rated top in the nation a few years ago, Zach. I'm happy to tell you on a study by Education Week magazine did a study that said that of all the places um, in the country where you might want to be born, to have a best, your best chance of success in life, the best place, if a child got to choose where to be born, Virginia would be your top, your, your best predictor of, of future success. And so we're very proud of all the things we're doing right here in Virginia. And yet with that, we still know there are so many things that, that we don't deliver on for our young people, healthcare, homelessness, uh, all kinds of needs that we're not yet meeting. And, um, and so we're, we're striving every day to help do better and we're happy to have you help um, help us do better by helping highlight the needs. I'm um, thrilled to be here today to um, um, help honor these young people. I'm glad we've got a little tiny bit of shade and that those who have walked already and those who are walking more, hopefully we'll get it over with before the hottest part of the day. Thank you for the chance to be here. And I think I get to present to you Zach Bonner, the Little Red Wagon Foundation. Uh, well, I would like to thank all of you for coming out here today and joining me in my effort to raise awareness to homeless youth, um, to the 1.3 million homeless youth that are living in this country. Uh, I would also like to have a, give a special thank you to uh, Shelly Br Shelley Brady for organizing um, this event here today. Uh, First Lady Ann Holton, uh, Dr. Yvonne Brandon, Superintendent of Richmond Schools and Reverend Dwight, Dwight Jones, Mayor of Richmond, for coming out and joining us today. When I decided to walk from Tampa to Washington, D.C., I asked myself if I would really be doing something worthwhile, something that would really make a difference and draw awareness to homeless youth. And as I draw to an end of this incredible opportunity and experience, I know the answer. Yes, I have made a difference. I believe that only through awareness and education will we be able to solve this crisis. When you hear the numbers and statistics of homeless youth, it makes the problem seem so large and so unmanageable. And it might make you question if we'll ever be able to solve this problem. I believe we can, but we first must realize that each statistic actually represents an individual, a person, a kid, just like me, with the, with the only difference being a 